so, so this, way, is, this is part two of my conversation with Pavel in uh, Vilnius. Okay, Pavel, uh, continue talking about your grandfather and your book. So the main thing about the book is that it, to, to a reader, it may look that it's based on facts only and that it's a description of a story which happened from the beginning until the end, which is not the case because uh, basing myself on real materials like letters, what my family told me, what I know from the history of Poland, what I've seen in Mongolia and in Siberia. I also added, made up, invented many things, many threads in the action of this book to make it more attractive and to let my grandfather survive his death, which he did. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe, maybe even, even though the book is in Polish, I wouldn't like to say uh, how it really ends, uh, because there is a kind of uh, suspense ending to it, something which uh, should make the reader surprised. Oh, really? That's the emotion I want to evoke from the reader by the end of, of, of this book. Um, so uh, I don't want to go into details. I just want to say that, that it's um, a, a combination, like I said in the beginning, that that my life is a combination of very consistent logical thinking and creativity at the same time, being a businessman and being a writer or a photographer or a traveler or admirer of music or paintings. Uh, so, so here it also reflects uh, the, 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 the two natures of, of me in a way, because I, I, I started writing it and then it developed, developed in, in such a way that, that, that finally we cannot say it is a reportage. We have to say it's a, it's a, it's fiction. And you took a year to write it, didn't you? More or less, more or less a year. But I yes, thought about yes. it for a very long yes, time. Yes, obviously you had to do a lot of research. A that, lot of that research. That would have taken longer. Yes, yes. that's right. Yes, but the yes. writing itself. I mean, I I think I'm lucky enough to devote a lot of, to be able to devote a lot of time to writing, because in the 25th or 22nd year of our business, we have the infrastructure, we have people performing the functions, so I don't have to do the things I did 25 years ago. When you set it I up. don't know my students, I yeah. don't know some yeah. of my employees, because, because I'm one of the co-owners, yeah. and yeah. we just make the main how, decisions. How many employees do you have? 150, 160 wow. in Krakow and Wrocław in two schools. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so, so, um, so in a way, I, w what I want to say is that I have plenty you have freedom. of time. Freedom. I have freedom. On some days I don't have freedom. Some days are very difficult because even if you are, if you are on, <laughs> on top of the of the um, ladder in a way of, of this structure, the company is a kind of a structure. It's not a corporation, but it's structuralized in a way. Uh, you, you, you have to, sometimes the decisions are very difficult and it takes hours to discuss one single topic. And there Between were four, four of you. Four, uh, four of us, yes, yes. Two, two, two British and, and two Polish. And were you four friends that we had are, the idea years ago? Yes, we became friends only two years before we started. So we became friends in something like 1991. And you were and all we teachers, English teachers. Yes, and we are all teachers. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, uh, but not necessarily teachers of English, because Wendy and Andy are the teachers of music and uh, mm. in English schools. But of course, they have the, the TEFL certificate as well. Yes, yes, yes. So they know something about teaching uh, English as a foreign or second yes. language. And Wiesiek Ogiński, my Polish partner, yes. is a philosopher, a poet, and a mathematician at the same time. Ooh, wow. And he's an ex-head. An ex-what? An ex-head of a school. Head, headmaster. Oh, head. An yes. ex-head. Yeah, just head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An ex-headmaster of a Polish school. Yes. He's in his 70s now. Oh. So the four of us make a team. Yes. We, we, Wonderful. We often, we often agree. Sometimes we disagree because we have... Yes. Yes. All different personalities, but yes. but yeah, that, that, that's it. That that's what can be said about this 
this company. So it gives me it gives me some time for creation. Yes. And my creation is not only writing, it's also traveling because I don't travel to all inclusive hotels and I don't spend my time in swimming pools. No, of I course, go we're to, waste I go of time. To, I go to places which are exotic, not civilized. Yes, yes. Which uh, which are full of strange, unique, odd situations. Yes, me and, too. Uh, and me unique, too. Unique, unique uh, things, unique people. So places like Mongolia, Haiti, Burma, uh, Cambodia, Laos, uh, you Cuba, like, you, you, you like Peru. that way you, you, the, yes. in Asia. That, that's the way, yes, that, that, that's the way I, and I, I tend to, I, I, want to, I want to get more insight into the world and, and into life. And English would be the key, of course, the main language. Yes, English is always the main language, though in Cuba and in Peru it should be Spanish, of that's course. That's very, yes, yes. But course. in Asia, English is the main language. Yes. They, yes. they don't, oh, in Morocco they expect you to speak French, French of course, yes. Yeah, so, so it differs, but the majority Do you of speak countries. any other languages other than English? I had Latin, and, yes. I, and I took my uh, secondary school exams in oral Latin. Yes, so you can understand... Oral Latin, yes, yes. So I can understand, you know... Italian. Many, many Italian, Portuguese and Spanish words, yeah. uh, especially especially, uh, and some of the English words, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. low-frequency words, yeah. usually so profound, not deep, yeah? those, those low-frequency words are more related to Latin than those, uh, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. high-frequency yeah. um, yeah. vocabulary items. Uh, yeah. so, so, yes, of course, it helps, but, of course, I don't speak Latin. So, the, the certificates that you give, would these be CELTA? Sorry? Uh, the certificates that you give from your college, would they be like CELTA or Cambridge? Polish, yeah, Only, the London uh, University, master's degree. This is the, cert the certification that I have. Okay. But, but of course, uh, now talking about traveling and, and the languages, then that of course English is a key in a way, because in some situations, if I can imagine somebody like me without any language, and there are travelers, who don't speak much, too, too, too much of any language. I would, I would find, I, I would, I could, I, I think I could have found myself in a very, very difficult situations if I didn't know the language. So language is is the key when you travel. But I'm not traveling for language. I'm traveling for life, for getting insight into into the nature of things, and to discover yourself. And to because discover when myself. you travel, you meet yourself. I meet myself because hard, difficult situations uh, it, it, it make you react this or that way. And, and, and of course, um, yes, th this was the case in many, many, many times in Haiti, in Mongolia, in very, very difficult places. But you travel with your wife or yes. you travel alone? No, no. <laughs> we, we, we both travel. We travel together, uh, always That together. must be wonderful. Yeah. Yes, it's a wonderful experience. It's also makes us much closer of course. because we, we we've been knowing each other for 40 years 40? now it is a lot of time and some people say oh my god how 40? can you get I on can't with believe that. how can you get on with each other ah. uh, after so many years so how years, old were you when you first the, met uh, uh, 17 Oh, 18. isn't that lovely? In secondary schools. Oh. We're now secondary Childhood schools. Childhood Different hearts. schools. <laughs> yes. And, and, and I think that... No, we're not there yet. Nearly. Okay, I, I may say that one of the, one of the um, reasons for the success might be the fact that we travel a lot and yes. we discover things you together. You share things we together. We share things and discover things together. Yeah. Which, oh, which g gives us new ourselves, in yeah. a way. That's wonderful. I'm very glad I met you and uh, I wish you good luck. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.